everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today's video is a beginner's guide of Pandora jewelry. If you want to start building a bracelet and if you are just looking on the website, maybe you're quite overwhelmed because there are so many options out there. Um, I will break it down to you and I will show you guys all of the different bracelets and collections. If you are excited for this video, please don't forget to give it a huge thumbs up. And if you like to see more fashion related videos, jewelry, vlogs here in Turkey, then make sure you subscribe. And now let's get started with the video. The first thing that you want to do is choose a style. So you have the Pandora Moments collection, and this is the most like common collection. They have the most charms for that collection. Then you also have the Pandora Me collection and the Pandora Reflections. Um, I will put them here on the screen, but for those you don't have that many charms. So I would recommend to purchase a Moments bracelet and um, because you just have the most choice and sometimes they will also discontinue um, the other collections so I would highly recommend to just go for the moments so then the next thing to do is choose a bracelet so you have a regular snake bracelet which is uh, kind of flexible you can add quite a lot of charms on this one um, I will show it to you guys so this is the snake bracelet and it's like very flexible um, so if you want to add quite a lot of charms I would go for this one they can stretch out uh, a little bit when uh, you add charms so keep that in mind and you also want to measure your wrist so you get the correct sizing if you go into a Pandora store uh, they can do that for you there obviously but, but if you want to order a bracelet online you can measure your uh, wrist and always add two or three centimeters extra depends on how many charms you want to add on your bracelet so keep in mind do you want a full bracelet do you just want to add one or two charms so keep that in mind when you order your bracelet and then you also have a bangle so this is the moments bangle bracelet this is the snowflake one and i got this in a size 17 and this is quite uh, fitted for me so i can't add like loads of charms but i didn't want to so like i mentioned keep that in mind but if you want to add more charms to your bangle then you definitely need to order quite a bigger size because um, it's not flexible and um, otherwise it will be very uncomfortable to wear and then the next thing to do is choose a metal color so do you want to go for like all silver one then you can also like choose a silver clasp like this one they have loads of different clasps uh, this is a heart shaped one but yeah like I mentioned they've got loads they're always changing so um, check out which one you prefer this is a very classic one and um, they've got it for a very long time the heart uh, clasp or do you prefer rose gold or even gold? They got that as well. And um, the bracelet that I'm wearing right now is a two-tone bracelet. So I've got a rose gold clasp and the bracelet itself is silver. As you can see, I've got a mixture of silver and rose gold charms on this one. So yeah, keep that in mind. Do you want to mix it up? Do you want to go for all silver? Or do you want to build a bracelet um, with only rose gold charms? Keep that in mind when choosing your bracelet so you can build a bracelet that you absolutely love. So when building your bracelet, one thing that I would highly recommend buying first is a safety chain and some clips. So a safety chain will um, prevent your charm from falling off. As you can see, if I open the clasp, the safety chain will keep all of the charms on the bracelet and also it will prevent um, your bracelet from sliding off. You just don't want to lose your charms and I heard some horror stories from people losing their bracelet and this will also prevent your um, bracelet from falling off. So they got lots of different options. This is a heart safety chain and it goes very well with the heart clasp. And then another thing that you can add is some clips. So this is a clip with a little bit of gold. Um, and this will also keep your charms a little bit separated. So the weight is all even on the bracelet. Otherwise, if you have charms on one side, the bracelet can stretch on the other side. So uh, clips are always a great way to separate the um, 
charms a little bit and um, I also got this clip right here and this is a little daisy clip with all zirconia stones and that will just keep your charms a bit separated and as you can see I've got a safety chain on here as well and this is a family tree safety chain um, so yeah, one thing that I would highly recommend is buying that. If you just have like a bangle with one charm, I don't know if it's really necessary, you can obviously. Um, but if you have lots of charms, get yourself a safety chain. You can obviously add any charms you want, but if you want to go for like a specific theming or like color theming, also keep that in mind. Um, they have lots of Murano, which are these glass charms. Um, I've got three different pink ones and that's just a fun way to add some color and if you also like I mentioned want to go for like a beach theme you can add some blue Muranos or like a girly Disney theme like this you can add some pink ones and Muranos are a bit thicker so if you want to add uh, a few of those again get a bigger size so this is my original bracelet but it's kind of a girly Disney theme and as you can see I've got Elsa's dress I've got Mickey and Minnie here I've got the Disneyland Paris castle over here and um, it's also really fun to add some dangly charms some Muranos some like spacers and spacers are these thinner ones which you can add between the normal charms so um, yeah, it's really fun to play around with dangly charms so just have fun with creating your bracelet every bracelet is unique and um, you yeah, just play around and you can obviously go in the Pandora store uh, to add some charms and see how it looks and if you want to start a bracelet I know that in the Netherlands you get a bracelet and two charms for uh, 99 euros I believe so you can choose a bracelet a snake bracelet or a bangle and then two charms worth of 30 or 39 euros I believe and I would recommend to become a Pandora member so you can have access to the outlet where they have some sales going on and some great deals so uh, make sure you do that and then the last thing that I want to share with you guys is the Pandora care kit so I just cleaned all of my bracelets, you can see they're very shiny and I do this uh, with this Pandora care kit. I also made a video about it um, which I will link somewhere up here but this is just a great uh, little set. So you get a polish cloth, you get a little cleaning kit which you put your jewelry in for two minutes and then you can buff it with the polishing cloth but yeah, like I mentioned I will link the video somewhere up here um, this is just a great way to keep your jewelry nice and shiny because they can tarnish over time especially if you live in a hot country like me in Turkey uh, they will turn a little bit black and I will clean the Pandora jewelry once in a while when it's getting a little bit like tarnished so yeah I hope this video was helpful if you have any questions um, let me know in the comments down below or if you also love Pandora and you have some other tips um, please let me know in the comments down below um, other people can read them as well and yeah I really hope you guys enjoyed this video I will link my other Pandora and jewelry uh, videos somewhere up here and I hope to see you guys very soon in one of my other videos. Bye! Bye.